Hey, what's up everybody? So we have had a lot of demand for some additional sizes of our kettlebells. And so what we're working on here today is some new sizes, um, broadening the range of the kettlebell offering that we have. And so we'll just show you some of the, some of the stuff going on right now. So this is one of the smallest, the smallest size we're gonna make. This is actually a 11 pound. We're gonna do an 11 pounder and an 18 pounder we've had a lot of a lot of requests from people for some smaller sizes smaller than the 26 so we're going to do an 11 and an 18. so you can see kind of the design um, how the design works you know for a kettlebell we just start out start out with a ball draw up a little a, a sketch this this 11 pounder is 3 and 15 16 diameter sphere ball and then you got a handle on top of that and the sketch of this handle you can see how the the sketch forming the handle sweep profile and then the handle diameter 1.2 inches on the 11 and the 18 that diameter swept around forms our handle and then you can see there's a lot more features we get we, we fill it it a lot of things that we do to make that design really look look nice and cool everything be smooth we cut we cut our iron warrior logo in there we cut the weights in the back 11 11 pounds and five kilograms and so once we have that actual kettlebell 3d cad model design then we we have to design our tooling that we use to make the actual sand molds that we pour the iron in when that when that molten iron cools down you have a you have a kettlebell casting and so this is where you can see the design of this tooling that we use to make our our sand molds so I've got both the 18 and the 11 on one one tool and so every time we run a mold we're gonna get one of each of those parts and how, how the iron flows into this and the whole design of this tooling is like this, where the iron, we're gonna pop off this down sprue in the center, this, this center down sprue. Our, our iron will flow down through here and it'll flow all the way down. We've got a little filter block here where we filter all the slag and stuff out of the iron so we get only good quality pure iron into that sand mold. Iron flows down through this filter block into the into the bottom well, which in this case we're using the runner, we're using the well as a runner bar. So our iron is coming down, it's just gonna run over to the side, and our iron's gonna fill these two risers, which the risers are feeding then directly into the, the sand mold for the casting. And so when, when this, this pattern makes a sand mold, this will be a big block of sand and the, the cavity will be left by an, an impression made by this tooling. And so once this is all filled with iron, all of everything you see here that's red and black is gonna be iron. And when that cools, that iron cools, it contracts down. And so we actually shrink the iron, the part will shrink an eighth of an inch per foot. And as that iron is cooling, it's shrinking and it's drying more iron it needs more iron as it's cooling and shrinking and so that's why we have these big risers feeding this casting because as that casting as that kettlebell casting is cooling it's drawing iron into the casting and so we have to have a big riser or basically a, a buffer available iron that can be pulled in sucked into that casting so we don't have any shrink pockets or shrink holes and so this is just wanted to show you how a uh, kettlebell design is is and how a kettlebell is made and and how how we take you know sketching the dimensions into a 3d cad model design the tooling then we cnc machine all the tooling so it's perfectly accurate and we run it in the foundry make the sand molds pour the iron clean the castings get them powder coated ship them off to you and you you just get them get them swinging and tear it up have a good one